What's up guys, Moses here again, and today I'm going to be showcasing you guys my Mesa Mark IV 1992 rack mount head and my Mesa Triple Rectifier 150 watt or the Triple Rectifier Reborn. It's just the latest to rectify, triple rectifiers that they make, um, 2010 and, you know, and so on. Now, I'm not here to tell you guys, you know, this BAMP is better than this or, you know, vice versa because they have their own characteristics, their own tonal properties that make each of these amplifiers very unique and special. But obviously, I do have my own, I wouldn't say biases, but I already know what I want from my tone. And I'm not going to say which one satisfies my needs as, you know, a metal type of player. So I'm just going to go over primarily a lot of the distortion heavy type of tones. I might do cleans, but I would just want to really focus on, you know, the aggressive side of these amplifiers because these amps are really, really good for that type of, you know, tone. And if you're in the market for one of these amplifiers, you know, check out this video because it might help you decide, you know, which one is for you. So I'm going to be playing through two guitars. So for the rhythm stuff, I'm going to be playing the E standard type of, you know, thrashy tug, thrashy stuff with my LTD. EC1000 with Seymour Duncan Custom 5 and uh, 59 in the neck. And for leads, I'll be using my ESP E2 Arrow. So now I'm just going to be quiet and just, you know, go through these amplifiers. It's not a necessarily a versus, you know, type of video. It's just showing you, you know, this amp can do what this can can't and vice versa. But I am running a Maxon OD through the triple rectifier. So here goes. <laughs> too hard <laughs> it sounds really good though with that you know overdrive the boost the clean boost drive down drive up the the overdrive down and the balance all the way up and then tone to taste you know really opens up this amplifier for a lot of the heavy type of riffs <laughs> Thank you. 
That's it for this amplifier. It sounds really good. I'm gonna play something a little slow. <laughs> Pretty good for the Mesa triple rectifier, one of my favorite amps. Now I'm going to switch over to my other guitar and do some lead works, see how that sounds with this amplifier. Enjoy. Alright, so now I'm just going to do some like leads, licks type of stuff. All I did was just turn on my flashback delay and that's it. I'm just going to noodle around, see how it sounds, nothing too crazy. <laughs>
it sounds good for leads. Um, I personally like this amp more towards um, rhythm type of tones, but you could do leads. You just have to EQ it right. Um, but that's it for the lead channels. Now I'm just going to test out the Mark IV and show you guys how that sounds. Okay, so now I'm going to be playing the Mark IV rhythm and the same thing I'm going to be switching over to the other guitar to do the more lead, you know, oriented type of stuff. With this, I am just running the flashback, the flashback delay on the effects loop. No boost, or nothing, just straight into the amp. And that is one of the reasons why I really like this head. Just a bit more compared to this one. Here it goes. <laughs>
what I really like about this amplifier is that not only does it not need like any type of boost compared to this one, just because this is a more looser sounding amplifier requires that boost. But with this, just plug in straight up, get a good noise gate like the ISP decimator. EQ this thing right because this, the, what these two amplifiers have in common is that they are a pain in the ass to EQ. Everything is very sensitive to each type of parameter, so just keep that in mind. And I did a video of both of these sounds, but if you're considering this one, really, really spend time with the graphic EQ because that's where all the tone is. Compared to this, everything depends on, you know, the EQ is right here. Right? It doesn't have anything sophisticated like this graphic EQ, but you can still achieve a really good tight sound. But this is just way more punchier. It's not loose right in your face this has I would say this has more bottom end but I would still use this just for the straight sheer and attack of what this amp is kind of missing which you can compensate with you know different ways but just, just stand alone without anything too much added <laughs> That's it for the rhythm tone. I'm just gonna switch over to the guitar, the other one, and play some leads. See how it goes. <laughs> Alright, here goes the lead channel, just the flashback delay, the effects loop, sing as this, you know, when I tested it out, so here it goes. <laughs>
This amp is really good for leads. This thing is just really good. It's very fluid. A little more cleaner, more sparkly than you know the triple rectifier. But if you're looking for that like looseness and tightness, you know this amp could do it. But if you want something, in my opinion, I think this is a way cleaner. This has like a honk, a type of low end where it's just kind of like punchy in a way. But this is like the attack and the the clearness of this amplifier is just in your face. It's very musical and no separation on this amplifier is really, really good. And it's one of my favorite amps. I think it's my fav it is my favorite amp so far. I really like this, gu not guitar, but this amplifier. But when I got my hands on this, it was just, you know, great. Almost like heaven. It did take me a while to EQ, but if once you understand the amplifiers and how they work, then you're going to get something beautiful out of them. So if you're looking for, you know, this tightness, but with a bit of a low-end honk and looseness, this amp can do it pretty well. And with this one, if you're looking for a clear, tight attack with a lot of, a lot of punchiness, then this amp is definitely the one you really want to go to. Yes, the, the mids are very scooped on this amplifier. You could do the same thing with this one, but this it has a very musical type of distortion and... That is why I believe it's better than this amp. Not by a whole lot. They're just different beasts. But I just feel much more comfortable playing this amplifier. And it's very inspiring. Both are great. But I prefer this one. So I, I, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like. Subscribe. I'm going to get my hands, you know, my hands more on, you know, these type of amplifiers. And... Just leave me a comment what you guys think, which one you guys like best, if my playing is shit. <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you guys have a good day.